This is one of the Lionel Hogwarts Express passenger cars. I'm going to show you how to get the lid off so you can change a bulb. I assume that this would be the same for the Polar Express Lionel train. You can see here the roof is gray. Here the body is this reddish color. There's a thin gold stripe right along the top of the reddish color. But if you look very closely, there's a tiny groove between the gray and that gold stripe. The instructions will tell you to push in on the windows, and they're referring to the doors. This door, this door, this door. It's as if this white part has a tab, and if you push in on it, it's supposed to release it. But I didn't have any luck with that. Take a knife that has no sharpness to it. To do this procedure that I'm showing you, you're actually going to make somewhere along here the tiniest little mark that may be permanent. I'm going to try to reduce the amount that it, that it has, but I'm going to slide my, the dull side of this knife in and just pry out. Now I'll tilt it forward as I do the other side to show you that instead of seeing where gray meets red with that gold stripe, you're going to see the white appear. I'm going to pry it open. Right in there you should see a little bit of white. I'm going to turn the car over and do the same. This knife, where you start, may make the tiniest little mark. Unfortunately, I don't have a way around that. Once I've, once I've released enough, you can see the play here. Once you've released it on both sides, at both ends, you can pull it off. And I'm going to do that slowly so that you can see. As it comes off, you'll see the white that makes up the windows. There's the inside where your lights are. There's a light bulb, there's a light bulb. I haven't removed them yet, but if you were going to, you would just pull out. These lights are fine, I'm going to put them back. So, there's a plastic film in these windows, but not in the door. The doorways are filled with the, a little bit of a tab. There's a a ridge there, there, and there. Those fit into these doorways and hold the lid on. To put it together, without, without pressing on the wheels, I'm going to squeeze the body and the roof down. They'll snap into place. Now I'll do one again for you, just briefly as a recap. I'm going to find the space, the thin space between the gray and the red, and I'm going to try to force something very thin but not sharp into that space. Then I'm going to follow it along till it's narrow and spread it apart by twisting my knife. It'll make a tiny mark when you do that. It's already separated here from the pressure on the other side. Now I have that thin white line showing, which means I've released all six tabs, three on one side, three on the other, and I'm going to lift the lid off. This car holds three bulbs, but they strobe way too fast. It's not fun to watch this car. So we've taken the bulbs out of this one. On it goes. I'm going to show you the mark that I've made. That way if, if it's unacceptable to you, you don't have to do it to your own. But right there is a little tiny mark. I don't know how to avoid that.